everyone, Glamma here. So today I am going to be brave and I am going to show you what my craft room looks like. It's a mess, it's not unpacked yet. I've got all kinds of stuff in there, but I thought I would go ahead and show you what it looks like before I get it all unpacked and then I will show you what it looks like afterwards in a few days maybe. All right, and I didn't want you to think I forgot about y'all because I know that the last video that I put up was of me telling you that I was moving into my childhood home. Well, I'm still in the process of unpacking and um, renovating and stuff like that. Right now I'm standing in my kitchen and we just put up that door right there. That used to be a regular door, but now it's a um, kind of like a saloon type door. It's a French door, but it's got, it's it, you can push it one way or the other. Let me show you. See, because I can't explain it. You can just push it to get in and it just kind of swings open and closed. Um, so anyway, the reason why I had to put that there is because my cat will probably tear up my leather sofa in there. So I had to have a door, but yet I wanted the light to come in. So yeah, that's why we did that and it's too hard for her to push open so that's perfect i get to let the light in but yet i get to protect my leather sofa in the formal living room in there when that room's all done i'll show you around when the whole house is done i'll show you everything but for now i'm just going to show you my messy craft room <laughs> all right i'll turn the camera around now okay so this is down the hallway. That's where the bathroom and washroom, the laundry room is. This is my craft room. It's really tiny, really messy. We took this door down, which is the door that's always been there since I was a teenager. And I bought this old vintage um, French door from an antique store. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Um, that I'm going to refinish and hang in its place because I want light coming um, when I'm out here, when I'm not in the craft room, I want the light from the craft room to come out into the hallway. And I also want a French door with glass so that when I'm filming, um, people can see that, I've, that I'm actually filming and stuff. And so they'll know not to open the door and interrupt my filming process. Because if I just left this door, nobody would know what I'm doing. So I think that's perfect and it's pretty and it's going to let the light out. So anyway, this is my messy craft room. <laughs> I painted it, um, um, what is it called, powder pink. And this is the only room in the house that is my favorite color, which is powder pink. The other rooms are white or um, the Tiffany blue. So there's one of my mannequins. Like I said, everything's messy. The floor is all mismatched. I haven't done the flooring in here yet. This used to be my room when I was a teenager. <laughs> so there's my leather futon and there is spring. And I need to put up some curtains here in a minute. Those are the curtains I'm gonna put up right there. There's my filming table. And that's a vanity that I still need to put together. I need to put that mirror and um, those little picture things right here on the side. The mirror goes in the center and the picture things go on either side of the mirror. Um, and this right here is my entertainment type unit, but I use it to stash all my yarn. If y'all ever saw the video of my little craft room in Washington, this is where I had all my yarn stored. And it's got like a little desk area, which was really awesome because when I used to um, sell stuff on Etsy, I would just bring that down and that was kind of like my little shipping station where I kept all my tape and envelopes and tissue paper and everything. I still have to unpack all those boxes. Um, oh, and this is yarn that I just bought because Finesse wants me to make Petrova something in orange. So I bought, but she didn't want like Halloween orange. She wanted a softer in between orange. So this is called Mango and it's from Made With Love. Red Heart Made With Love. And so here's a lot of my yarns that I still need to unpack. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff and a lot more yarn in those boxes and um, crafting accessories and stuff. But yeah, I have a big mess, <laughs> as you can see right now. 
All right, and so this TV is not going to stay there. It's not going to block my entertainment center. What it's going to do is we're going to get a TV arm for over there, one that pulls out and kind of tilts down so that when I'm sitting here crocheting in between segments, I can be watching HGTV, my favorite show. But for now, it's sitting on this table. Um, and so, yeah, and here's Paris. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera off for a second and actually hang the curtains and show you what the curtains look like at least. So I will go ahead and shut the camera off just for a few seconds and then I will hang the curtains and show you what it looks like. And then I'll do, um, I guess like a little reveal of what the craft room looks like in a few days or a week or so, however long it takes me to unpack everything and figure out where to put everything. Alrighty guys, I'll be back in a couple seconds. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and hang up the curtains. I put it on the rod. These are just inexpensive um, sheer white curtains from Walmart um, made by Mainstays and they're 84 inch white sheer panels. I'm just going to go ahead and pop these up here right now. And now I'll turn the camera around, but let me, uh, let me see if I can get it in better lighting. Let me see. Okay, so the lighting's not very good, so, um, but yeah, and you probably can't even see outside, but all through there are all the lots that my mom owns. Um, but yeah, these are just inexpensive sheer curtains because I don't want to block the light from coming in. I still have to paint the frame of the window. I'm going to paint that white. But I don't know if you, um, let me put this on a tripod. I'll be right back. Okay, so I put the camera on the tripod because I was getting real shaky with the camera trying to move around and stuff and explain things to you. But I don't know if you watched my last video where I was letting you know that I was moving into my childhood home and how my parents purchased this um, when they first got married and they built the home by themselves with their own two hands and my mom personally put up all the interior walls all by herself, cinder block by cinder block, that's what this house is made of, made of cinder blocks. Um, so yeah, it's very um, rustic looking and so I thought, how can I improve the house, decorate it in a way where it's not going to cost too much and where I can still keep the integrity of what they initially wanted the house to look like, kind of a rustic looking house. So. Um, what I did is I painted most of the walls out there white except for like the bedroom. I did it in Sweet Rhapsody which is really close to Tiffany Blue and I did this room in like I said earlier in powder pink because it's my favorite color pink and so what I did is what my mom has always done all these years you see this pipe right here let me just get up and show you this pipe right here um, they always painted it the color of the wall, kind of trying to hide the fact that it was the conduit electrical pipes. But what I did, since I'm going to try to decorate it and keep the rustic look, I thought, well, rather than hiding it, trying to camouflage it, let me highlight the conduit pipes. And so I got some paint from Home Depot and I just did it all in aluminum color so it's so pretty and then I'll turn the camera over this way let me see if I can raise it up a little bit yeah so right here um, I even did the let me see, can, you, can you see I even did the um, face plates in that silver and even the switch right here I even did the switch and the conduit pipes and I think it looks really pretty especially with the pink and next to the white it also looks really pretty so yeah let me fix the camera again <laughs> um, so I think to me I thought that's gonna kinda keep the integrity of the old looking house it's not like I'm trying to hide the fact that it's an old house I'm kinda highlighting the fact that it's got conduit pipes running 
along the walls. We could hide it with sheetrock, you know, put four, put two by fours or one by fours and then sheetrock over it. But I kind of want to keep it the way my mom intended this house to be. And so you saw the flooring earlier, how mismatched it is. She's always just kind of decorated the house with whatever finds she could find at thrift stores or, or yard sales and stuff. But I really want to try to make this house beautiful and send her pictures and let her know you know that we're really loving the house and uh, putting love into the house and so this is going to be the flooring that we use because in the kitchen like i said it's um a white and it's antique white and it matches perfectly with this white right here and we have a lot of stainless steel appliances so that's going to tie in the gray and the conduit pipes are in that aluminum so this matches perfectly so this is going to be the flooring let me see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, so you can see all the little um, grains and stuff. So I think it's adorable. So that's what we're going to be doing with the flooring. But um, we have to go ahead and fix other things first. We're, gonna, we're having to put a new roof up because it leaks. And it's a tin roof, so it sounds really, really awesome when it rains. I love it. I used to love to fall asleep in this house as a teenager because of the the rain hitting the tin roof and everything so yeah this used to be in my room when i was a teenager and like i said my parents bought a whole two whole um castroville blocks when they got married very inexpensively at the time and so i think it's between eight and ten lots the house sits on four of the lots no five of the lots um and then there's lots over there and uh, I used to own one of the houses that's on one of the lots. I bought that when my kids were like, I don't know, 16 and 10 or something like that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm back here and I'm in my childhood home. I'm excited. I'm excited to make it beautiful. Meanwhile, we're just going to move on in and, you know, later move stuff around, do the flooring in one room, move stuff to another room, do the flooring in that room. So it's going to be a little bit of a hassle, but... I didn't want y'all to think that I forgot about you. Um, I know that I haven't put up any crochet tutorials, but this is why, because I'm really busy trying to get moved in, and I really want to show my mom before and after pictures so that she sees that we are putting so much love into this house of hers, and there's going to be so much life running through it. Um, grandbabies and family reunions and stuff like that. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what's going on. I know this is a mess, so keep this video in mind because I'm hoping in like a week or so I can show you the after where I have all my yarn stored and stuff like that. And there's a closet, right? Let me see if I can show you. Right there behind, behind those doors is a closet. So um, I can probably hang more yarn stuff there too. So yeah, I, I can't wait to have that French door up. I bought it for $10 at a antique store so what a bargain right and it's it's really good wood and everything so i'm going to refinish it take the old paint off sand it repaint it white and i'm going to get some nice i call them diamond doorknobs but you know those vintage doorknobs that look like diamonds or whatever so yeah i'm going to do that and i can't wait to show you more of the house but that's probably going to take oh gosh maybe six months or so before we do the flooring and all the crown molding um and yeah, that's called crown molding, right? What's it called down on the bottom? Baseboard, I think. So yeah, we're gonna do all of that and we're probably gonna put this throughout the whole house. Um, it's not real hardwood flooring, it's laminate. Is it, is it called laminate? Yes, pergo laminate. But I love the fact that they're big wide boards like this. So yeah, anyway, I know I'm babbling now, but here's a little update for y'all. I uh, just wanted to remind y'all how much I love you and don't forget to love yourselves as much as I love you and don't forget to love everyone you come in contact with. All right, I'll keep you guys updated. Uh, yeah, so bye. Mwah.